Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics, 5th edition by S. Timoshenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao, Sukumar, Patil. In this video, we will solve problem set 2.1 and problem number 2.70. Three forces are applied to a body as shown in the figure. The directions of the 200 newtons may vary. But the angle between these forces is always 30 degrees. Determine the range of value of alpha for which the magnitude of the resultant of the forces applied to the body is less than 650 newtons. There are three forces are acting on the body. One force is 100 newtons here, 100 newtons here and the 600 newtons. The 600 newtons makes an angle 45 degrees which is always fixed. This 100 newtons angle between these 200 newtons 30 degrees is, al is also fixed. Now this alpha may vary. It may 0 or 20 or 30, whatever. This alpha value may vary. Now I want to find the value of alpha for which the resultant force is always less than 650 newtons. The formula or concept required to solve the problem is parallelogram law. According to the parallelogram law, if P and Q are the two forces acting on a body, and the angle between the two forces P and Q is alpha, then the resultant force will be identified like this. Construct a parallelogram by considering this P and Q are the two adjacent sides of a parallel parallelogram. How it can be done? By drawing a line parallel to P from Q and by drawing an another line parallel to Q from P then it forms a parallelogram. In this parallelogram the major diagonal R will becomes the resultant force and that resultant force is given by the equation R is equal to square root under p square plus q square plus 2pq cos alpha. Let the angle between one of the force p and the resultant force r is beta. And this beta is given by the equation sin beta is equal to q by r into sin alpha. Similarly, let the angle between the resultant force and the force Q is gamma. And this gamma is given by sin gamma is equal to P by R into sin alpha. So in this problem, the resultant of, first we will uh, calculate the resultant of these two 100 Newton's force because the angle between these two 100 Newton's force is 30 degrees. So I can find the resultant of these two forces and also I can find the angle made by the resultant with either of these 100 newtons. So how to find the resultant of these two 100 newtons forces? R is equal to square root of this is the formula. If P comma Q are the two forces, this is the formula. Just now we have seen. Now by substituting this, I will get square root under 100 square plus 100 square plus 2 into 100 into 100 into cos 30. So I can find the resultant of these 200 newtons force is 139.2 newtons and the angle between the resultant force and either of the 100 newtons is given by uh, sin beta is equal to q by r into sin alpha this is the formula according to that si sin beta is equal to 100 by 139.2 into sin 30. Then I will get beta is equal to 15 degrees. That means 
I can replace these two hundred newtons force with a single force of one thirty two point two newtons, which makes an angle of fifteen degrees with uh, this one. That means this is the diagram now. There are only two forces acting on the body now. One is six hundred newtons. Another one is one thirty nine point two newtons. That six hundred newtons makes an angle forty five degrees. Is one thirty two one one ninety three point two newtons force makes an angle of alpha plus fifteen degrees with the horizontal. Then what is the then i can find the resultant of these two forces given that the resultant of the force must be less than 650 newtons that information is given so i can find the resultant of 600 newtons and 130 uh, 193.2 newtons according to this equation square root under 600 square plus 193.2 square plus 2 into 600 into 193.2 into Cos of these two angle, angle between these two forces. This is 45 plus alpha plus 15. That is 60 plus alpha. So I can simplify that. Given that the resultant of the force must be less than 650, so this R value must be less than 650. That means square root under 600 square plus 193.2 square. Plus 2 into 600, 600 into 193.2 into cos 60 plus alpha must be less than 650. Can simplify this? For simplifying, then I will get an equation like this: 39.7356.24 plus 2.31840 cos 60 plus alpha should be less than 4.2500. This is cut by squaring on both sides. So further I can simplify this. That is cos 60 plus alpha must be less than 0 0.108. So 60 plus alpha should be less than 83.77 because cos 83.77 is equal to 0 0.108. So I can substitute. Hence the alpha value should be 23. Point, alpha should be always less than 23.77 degrees. There is another possibility for 0 0.108. What is the other possibility? So cos of 276.23 is also equals to 0 0.108. I, I will take that answer. So 60 plus alpha should be less than 276.23. And then alpha should be 216. So the range of angle will be 23.77 and 216. Hence the range of angle must be alpha is less than 23.77 and it should be less than 216.2. My dear friends and students, if you want the solution for any of the subject in the field of machine design, namely strength of materials, theory of machines, machine design, engineering mechanics, finite element method, mechanical vibrations, please give the reference in the comment section so that I will solve the problem, prepare a video and upload in my channel. Please subscribe and share my video.